112 Guyanese small miners, whether they were miners before or whether they're interested in getting into the sector now, they have been awarded a small mineral property in the formerly Troy Resources property. That was Minister of Natural Resources Vikram Bharat during a recent press briefing informing citizens about the government's push to make more lands available to small miners. Several international companies have indicated interest in taking control over the Karuni Mining District in Region 7, which was formerly occupied by Australian company Troy Resources. Is that we have been speaking with a number of companies that have expressed an interest in taking over the operation. I can tell you safely without disclosing names that I met with about three or four groups that is a mixture of Guyanese and international investors that are interested in the Troy Resources area. Without revealing the names of the investors, Minister Barrett said that the two companies have been afforded the opportunity to take their technical staff into the area to do an independent assessment of the mining area. Since the closure of the mineral property in 2023, the state currently has purview over the living quarters, the administrative section, the processing plant and the mineral pits. There is also the full-time presence of the Ghana Geology and Mines Commission, known as GGMC, in the Karuni area, Barrett said. Meanwhile, the state is also forging towards the recommencement of operations at Araraima, Burbies River, which was occupied by a Russian aluminum company known as Russo. We are working towards restarting that operation, and at some point in time too, we want to restart the Russo operation whether it's with Russell or any other investor. Antonio Day reporting for the AGP Nightly News.